major, major movement. movement. Promise. It's a slippery day. Uh, here's Patrick Mall. Oh, come on. That's going the wrong way. I'm going to live by the trick play, die by the trick play. Show some energy, man. You're the leader of the show. No, well, I'm upset. You're I'm not, not out here for clicks and likes like you. When my One of my favorite teams, watch this play, Greg. Oh, down he goes. That hurts me. With the Christina. Loss, with the loss, the Chiefs saw their Super Bowl odds slip to fifth. Wow. Ooh. San Francisco still at number one, then the Ravens, then the Dolphins, then the Eagles, and then the Chiefs. Greg, do you still believe the Chiefs can win the Super Bowl? No. Okay. Definitive. Nope. Absolutely not. Wow. Absolutely not. No. Wow. No. I, look, as much as we want to talk about, well, they have a chance. And, and I think we all understand that they have Patrick Mahomes, so you, you feel like, oh, there's always a chance. Not this year. I don't. And I tried to weigh the pros and cons. I'm like, I get it, Nick. The defense is playing good and all anything. the things. I know. I, I, I know. But that's about all you can do because this offense has been terrible. Like, you, when you can't score and Patrick Mahomes is doing everything that he possibly can to try to override all of the woes that they're going through, the receivers dropping balls. Okay, let's put the ball on target. He's doing that. Oh, offensive line now isn't blocking. Well, the, all these things have been happening all season long, and we're still waiting for Patrick Mahomes to come out and say, oh, I got you guys. Jump on my back. It's not happening. Hmm. As great as Travis Kelsey ha has been, even this year, He's not the same player. He's not going to impact the game the way that he has in past. Like, they, there has to be another player. I was a rookie. I remember Brett Favre. He and Donald Driver had a great relationship. At some point, everyone knew there has to be somebody else that steps up. What, ha what happened, and I'm not saying Patrick Mahomes hasn't done this, but what Brett did with me, he called me on an off day. Greg, can you meet me up at the facility? Absolutely. We watched film for about three, four hours. And I thought that was the best thing to ever happen to me as a rookie, as a young player, because it uh, allowed me to see how he thought not just on the field, but even off the field, from a film study, when it comes to breaking down defenses, the player that, ha that has to be, and this is why I'm saying no, is because as great as Rasheed Rice has been, and you've alluded to this, there, there hasn't been that elevation of, you know what, I can absolutely depend on that right. guy now. There, there's no guarantee that right. Rasheed Rice is going to be that guy right. if nobody else is going to be that guy. For me... When your defense is playing good and you now are the offense and we're questioning whether or not you can put enough points on the board to win a game, problem in Kansas City. We have to identify it. They're well not going to get it done. Okay, well listen, that, oh, everything, change, everything you said about what's <laughs> happened, I agree with. Mm -hmm. The idea that that is totally predictive for what will happen is where I disagree. Because yesterday's game was ugly on a million counts. It was. But it also was simple in this regard. And we can show you the numbers. They couldn't block them, and they stood no chance. Like, that was not maybe the, the – I mean, this was – in line with the Super Bowl loss to Tampa as far as he was actually pressured the exact same amount in both of those games. That's what it looked but like. But then, and say it again. Yeah, it looked like the Super Bowl. Yeah, and so, except in the Super Bowl, I actually thought he played great. In mm. this game, he obviously didn't. The reason I think, through it is crazy to write them off is because if you, if you still believe that Mahomes is great mm -hmm. and you still believe Andy Reid is great, and then you pair it with this, and we can show you where their defense has been this year, then to act like this team mm. – uh, here's my point, Brew. This team with Kirk Cousins at quarterback, wouldn't a team with that defense with a quarterback Kirk Cousins level wouldn't be dead. If you have, if you have arguably the best defense in football, inarguably a top three, all you need is average offense. And if you guys think, and I don't think, Brew, you do, that this team is incapable of producing average offense. No, we can't get it. They, we can't get, look, Nick, they, can't they get it consistently. We're talking about half a season now. Three and five More over the last eight games. Game. But, but I'm just – like, they, the they've been three and, and five you, over yeah. the last second half of the okay. season. That's a long stretch, and everybody's been talking about, you know, we got to get better, we got to get better. Kind of like Philly, and they haven't been able to do it. Three of those five losses, I believe, are the teams that, that have losing records. The Packers, they are not playing well. Now, I don't – look, maybe the, the defense Rockies. is legit. Maybe you – I think, obviously, Pacheco is a great runner or very good runner. And Edwards Hilaire has been running hard, too. Maybe they got to run the ball, kind of become a running team, and then have Mahomes do his work, his magic when necessary. Like the O2 but that might – Peyton Manning. Let's go. 
I mean, that, that, that might be what they have to do. I don't know because those guys can't get open. And they can't catch you. Got off, you got let off the hook there, Wilds. But, you know, there's sloppy stuff happening that we're not yeah. off. Here's an optimistic Patrick Mahomes, bro. If we clean it up, we'll be able to score points. It's just we got to clean it up. I mean, I mean, that's we're two games left. You have to do it. And if we don't, we'll be going home. So I think if we clean it up, uh, we'll have. If we clean it up, we can beat anybody. Uh, I truly believe that. Um, but uh, we got to prove that we can do it. Now, the official question is, is it officially time to hit the panic button? But, Brew, remember, we've asked this question a few times. He already hit it a few weeks ago. But then he hit it. It's like a little He called it called minor. Little panic button. button. Minor it's a panic, panic button. Panic. Yeah, it seems like it. Did you do tap it? Like so is, you have a, do you have thing. a new question, bow, bow, or you guys want to do bow, your little Abbott and Costello routine over there? <laughs> we can get to the actual sports talk. Is it sports officially talk? time to hit the panic button? Well, listen, that's maybe – the worst game they've played since Mahomes became the starter. It's definitely the worst game they've played since the Titans game a few years ago, 27-3, to when they just had no answers. It was a disaster. Mm -hmm. It was the beginning early in the 2021 season okay. that year. Shortly after they had lost in the Super Bowl, and that was the start of, oh, did the um, Bucks reveal a blueprint on how to stop, stop Mahomes? And... Unlike other games where you could just be like, the wide receivers need to not drop the ball, it was worse than that. The offensive line was a disaster. By the way, one of the reasons the Chiefs don't have a high-priced wide receiver is not because they didn't have any money to spend in free agency. They spent their big free agent acquisition was their right tackle, Jawan Taylor. The entire process, getting the play in, was problematic. Getting guys lined up. Mahomes was getting frustrated. It reminded me a lot of the last offense Matt Nagy run, ran in Chicago, where guys aren't open, where the play's not coming in. The offense looked like Matt Nagy's Bears, but you have Patrick Mahomes as the quarterback. Yeah. But this year, and we can show you, as you two simultaneously drink your coffee, well, we can show you this is interesting. The, the Chiefs scored under 20. It happened six times, first five years of his career. Mm -hmm. It's happened seven times this year. Yeah. And you guys know my fix has often been Mahomes be great. Yep. And yesterday, I don't – listen, yesterday was not all on him, obviously, but he was far from great. He played poorly by not only his standards, I think by a lot of guys' standards under adverse circumstances. And so, Brew, I'm going to ask you a question. Can I borrow just briefly your intellectual property of the grading system? 